Oh. Now, I have a mission objective to reach the dam. I don't know if that's, like, something that I, like, have to do to further the story, or... What? I believe that that's probably what it would be. Give a damn here. <laughs> oh man, the writing in this game is just still so great. But I believe first I will want to actually... I'll liberate another garrison, I would say. That's that's a, that's an idea. I'll liberate this garrison that's... Uh, I'll set a waypoint down to it, and then I'll move towards that direction, generally. Because, as well, that's another thing to be showing, probably. The liberating garrisons. Um, I don't know if it will be exactly the same as what happened for this one. Because liberating this garrison, it was... Oh, there's, there's some sort of vehicle over there. I don't know. I'm guessing that they're not very friendly, so... I sort of want to take those out as well. Oh, man! Uh, get, stop, stop for a second, please. Uh, oh, no. This is not going to end well, I don't think. Hey! Oh, wrong button! Oh, no! Why? Uh, by the way, that is a, a little bit of a healing animation, if you didn't know that. You sometimes uh, just... Or you just poke yourself and that, that solves some problems. There, there's a lot of just amazing healing animations in the game. Let's just say that. They're very unique, to say the least as well. But... Well, that and also the color palette. I'm gonna say that while I'm here. It's 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 just so 80s and fanciness. Oh, look at that! The colors. And and you know me, like I I have a very big obsession with colors. So, if anything looks really nice and and colorful, like this or Dungeon Defenders, which Dungeon Defenders, that's I I don't know why I had to think of that, but it is a very colorful game. So, that's another thing. Dungeon Defenders, it's so beautiful. But now I'm up to the dam. Well, not the dam. Um, the garrison point. Um, let's see. If, let's see if I can use my cyber eye. What, Vegito? What does your scouter say about his power level? Um, not very much, currently. Cause I only see that there's like one guy in there, and he has a lightning bolt above his head. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but I think it means I'm going to kill him. There we go. He had a splitting headache. And, of course, as always, these kind of things, you have to have uh, a lot of amazing one-liners. Because that was another, like, amazing thing about, like, old, like, movies from, like, action movies from the 80s and so on. And just, like, even 90s and, and things of that sort. They generally had lots of... Headshot. Amazing one-liners, which located. everybody loves one-liners. No okay, don't worry, I'll eliminate all the enemies in this garrison. Oh wow, that was maybe not the best idea then. Okay, so I am I am detected. Um. Ah. Uh, there we go. I have my two weapons out that I want. These. This is the way I do things. Hopefully. Okay, maybe not. As I fall down and go back into stealth mode. So there's a guy up here that does not seem very happy. So I mean, I'll go into stealth mode every once in a while, but I like I prefer to do games my way of just going crazy with the kill everybody. Come on. How does he not know where I am? And how did that take so many bullets? Shoot many bullets to kill one person. It happens. Okay. And apparently somebody's coming for me. And there's reinforcements, so I might as well start killing. Die! There we go. No alarm for you guys. And also I find that, like... They must design, like, each of these places, like, differently, which is pretty good as well. Because this garrison is very, very different from the one that I was at uh, before. Which is definitely a good thing. Especially when you're wanting to change up combat a little bit, I guess. When you're headshotting people in the face. 
So that's that's the way you headshot people. You you shoot them in the face. And but I, I'd say this is actually a pretty good gun. This little pistol here. So when you do upgrade them, they do probably like get up exponentially, especially when you have like a quad barrel shotgun, which will be a thing that I'm going to have to do in the future. All right. Anything else to loot in here? There's. There's like a bunch of them in the basement sort of portion here. So you know what that means. It's shotgun time. And hopefully, yes. Shotgun SMG hybrid time. In which, um, it goes down here, I believe. Hello there, sir. Want some death? Or you? Actually, I'll just throw one of these in there. Kaboom. Oh, what was that? I think these are like cyber dogs. What are those? Oh, no. Of course, everything is cyber, though. In a cyber world in which we live in. What is... What are these things? I think they are cyber dogs. Oh, yeah. Also, that's... That's another thing I uh, have to say here. Which is pretty amazing. Whenever you're out of combat, and you want to melee, you just do this. <laughs> Instead of meleeing, you just uh, put up your middle fingers. You can just like taunt people, I guess. I'm not too sure if how useful that would technically be, but it's just a, it's another like cool little thing that they put into this. And oh, it's hoping to do my Halo move. We jump around the corner. That's a job well done. Oh yeah. And then when you uh, clear out a garrison, of course your your scientists just roll up. And uh, by the way, don't try to kill these guys. <laughs> That's another thing to note because when I did before, um, let's just say there was there was a bit of problems to say the least, and they had infinitely spawning uh, guys of scientists that tried to kill me. Let's see if I, like, I think I unlocked probably some sort of other thing for my weapons, right? Possibly from doing that? Or maybe, probably not though, because I, I need to unlock more, I need to do more garrisons. Oh, and I think you need to actually, like, equip your bow before you actually are allowed to upgrade it. That's the thing. I'm going to look at, like, what type of things we have for the bow. Because for the bow... Okay, there may or may not be... Uh, yeah, there's zero attachments, actually. You can't have any attachments for the bow. So that is the one kind of sad thing, then. And I think that, like... That's probably why nobody will be using the bow that mo often, maybe? But... I I'd say it's pretty useful, because it is fairly stealthy. It's probably more stealthy than using a sniper rifle that makes tons of noise. But either way, um... I'm going to try to do that, uh, I'm going to go give a damn first before I uh, complete this video and uh, do a bit more of like my final impressions of the first impressions. The final of the first. Now let's see, where is this dam? The dam is over in that direction. I'll give it a bit of a waypoint so I can give a dam. Of course. I just, I just love that. The wording is perfect. And I think I might actually, I'll, I'll drive a jeep there. Let's, let's see how what the driving's like in this game, because I haven't actually used it before. It has the same sort of controls as, like, every other driving thing in general. Is that, you, you know, you have to... It's the right trigger to, to go forward, left trigger to go back, so... That's always a familiar sign. Also, it's the best way, because, you know... That's, that's the good thing about uh, the Xbox 360, is that... Driving games work very well with actually having like I think it's prop I think they're called like analog tri triggers possibly I don't I'm not too sure what they're properly called, but that's just the way it works. I don't know why like my hands look so tiny when uh, I'm driving this. That I'm not too sure if that's something dealing with animations or what now, but let's see if I can get Doc, damn damn God yeah. Damn, it's big. Every facility has its own generators. That's what but she said. Dam, Sloan can't run his operation at full strength. Then it's time to blow his die. Okay, I'm sending you the coordinates to enough C4000 to crack that dam. 
Draining the reservoir will compromise the reactor's coolant system. Objective. Retrieve C4000. Okay. Yeah, and I think they just basically as well have special names for everything. That's that's basically the idea. C4000. It's, it's, it's just a brilliant name, of course. You just add a few more zeros onto it, and then it's all good. But am I literally just supposed to jump off the dam now? Yes, I am. Alright, so that's... Let's uh, go and pretend this is Goldeneye, and... Uh, Geronimo! Oh, man. I think that would also be a very good place to get the achievement, if uh, anybody wanted to know. But I've, I've shown two different ways of getting achievements, of uh, jumping off of a cliff, basically. So, C4000, what... See how much of this Doc, is there? Ready to bring the house down. Just like when you saved me and my team in Quebec, when you caused that hydro plant's nuclear reactors to go critical. I, I don't remember much before getting shot up. Playing as a kid, my parents, Vietnam War II. I'm sorry. Good luck, Rex. We're counting on you to save us again. By the way, yeah, that is another thing that actually happened. Objective. In this, is that apparently um, Canada is a nuclear wasteland in this game? Because I believe that the that we got nuked or something like that. I, I don't know. Also, yeah, and and for some reason as well, somebody invaded Australia for some strange reason. Because uh, they, I guess, Australia has a lot of important resources. And that's people that uh, notice that I'm here. Oh no. Get out of here. Go die. As well, um, I just have to say, this, this gun is, is pretty amazing. This SMG. It's, it explodes people's heads quite well. But, oh wait. I have the, I have the wrong weaponry out. Gotta get a shotgun. Because now the alarm's on, we might as well just do things my way. We're going to do things uh, Ubisoft's way, or we're going to do it my way. I decide to do things my way, though. As well as throwing millions of grenades. Which, I don't know if I was standing close to that grenade or not, but like that's also an amazing like special effect that they have. Um, that they tend to um, have enemies that burn. Like, whenever, whenever there's a sort of, uh, thingy-majigger, an explosion near you, you have your crazy, like, VHS-type thing go off. I don't even know what to, to say, like, scan lines? Maybe that's, that's, uh, what they're called? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. But I believe that the alarm is probably somewhere up there, and... So on, uh, I need to plant some C4 here, I believe. So, uh, press X to interact. This one will crack you up. Objective partially complete. Proceed to the next structure. I'll, I'll also pop. pilfer a few of these guys because I want some money. You get $37. I mean, it's still better than in Assassin's Creed when, uh, you loot people, but... Eh, it's, it's maybe still not the most useful thing, but you can actually... You can pilfer dogs. Why? And why does it have money? That's what I would like to know. Did they just put a bunch of money in its collar and just say, Here you go, little doggy. Go to the store and buy me some uh, milk. I, I just don't even know. This one's for you, Spider. But still, that's another thing that Ubisoft is obsessed with. Looting everything. Come on, there you go. I believe there's somebody looking at me. Oh yeah, there he is. Uh, I'll just uh, do this then. Hey, uh, you want to look at me? I'll. You shot me once. I shoot you in the face. <laughs> I care not. And then I just poke my wound, which I believe I didn't get shot there, but oh well. That's the way it works sometimes. And I'm not too sure if um, if I actually have laser pointer things on. Oh, okay, that's a bad idea. I'm bad at sniping, so I might as well shotgun. There we go. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if I actually have a laser pointer when I shoot my gun, like my sniper rifle, but that might be a bad thing if it is. Now, how's what's the fastest way to get up to the top? 
probably some through some stairs here, I, I guess. And I wonder, like, I, I should probably check the different things. Once you level up, hopefully you'll be able to, like, run while uh, healing yourself, because that would be a very, very useful skill. Detecting heavy flamer units and their conveniently exposed fuel tanks. Don't worry, I... I'm gonna try to... There you go. That's a fuel tank. And somehow I didn't actually get any damage from that, too. Alright. Let's keep moving. So I'm almost at the top. There's still, like, a ton of guys up here, though. Which, you know how that works out. Tons upon tons of explosions. And death. And, uh, let's see. Oh, we just climbed this ladder, and uh, we should be up to the explosion point. To destroy all, uh, cyborgs. Like, destro destroy all humans, but destroy all cyborgs. Well, bam! Also, it's very nice that they actually color those type of other types of enemies differently. That the ones that flame are yellow in your uh, neon glow of awesomeness. Objective complete. C4000 planted. Please proceed All right. to designated safe zone before detonating. Time to bring the house down. Will do. This is going to be an awesome explosion, I, I would hope. hope. This new C4000 is as good as the old C400. Oh, right. Nope. It's not. Doc, it's a no-go on the explosive. What? Seriously? Okay, that's that's not very good, then. There were civilians in there. But, uh... I know just the man to help you sabotage the dam. Here, locate him through his personal tracking device. Objective. All right. Rendezvous with engineer inside the dam. Attention. Will do. Also, wow. I just noticed that there's like on this uh, SMG there, there's like. There's SYS and FDS. That looks pretty awesome. The little like glowiness. You gotta love all the details that they have in this game. It's just, it's just so nice. And since I am bad at killing at long range, I'm just gonna go shotgun time. I, I was hoping I was going to get a 2 and one on that, but no. Hey, get over here. Oh, I was, I was just about to get a takedown. So I believe if you're just running fast enough, you can basically just do a takedown. Which is always just great. Absolutely amazing. And fun. When you just stab people with your... Uh, whatever this sword thing is. Uh, maybe if I... Yeah, you can sort of see the sword if I go close, but... That's about it. Explosives and credits. I, I don't care about the guy that's staring at me now. Have long range shotgun! Oh! I'm, I'm just gonna throw a grenade at this guy. Whatever. Have fun in death! <laughs> he didn't burst into flames, so that's the only disappointing portion. Ah, there we go. Stab this guy a couple more times and he'll probably die. Probably. Surprisingly enough, though, uh,. That's that's uh, one of the things that's kind of depressing in a way is that a, a giant laser sword type thing is not actually a one-hit kill. Well, not always. Which would be a very useful thing to have. But no. Also, there's no reload to canceling. Which is probably a good thing. But oh well. Um, oh, so these guys are commies? Let's take them out. Baby, where you been all my life? Oh yes. Throw a cyber heart at the enemy so that nearby dragons attack them. Okay, why not? Is there a dragon nearby? I'm not too sure. All I know is I'm just gonna use this uh, gun to do everything good, though. Either way. Explosive red barrel. This guy's like freaking out. This is the way you should always be shooting a machine gun. <laughs> it's going ah, <laughs> and then stabbing yourself in the arm just so you can go like this. There we go. Time to kill, and then kill this dragon because I want to. I want to see if I can actually manage to do that. Oh no! Laser eyes. 
That's, the, 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 that's maybe the bad thing about this. Oh no. I didn't think before I shot. Um, have, have a cyber heart over there. Please. Oh, that's a chopper. Oh no. Yeah, well, I'll show you who can get to the chopper properly. Ah. Now, um, should I kill, kill the dragon or just run past? I mean, it's maybe a better idea to just run past, but... Oh well, let's see what we can do. Um, this is taking quite a bit of damage. Um, any other sorts of weaponry and technology that we have around here? Please? I'll just blow up something over there and see what happens. See, this is probably when I shouldn't have wasted all of that gun, because... This would have been like a really epic scene of me just like blowing up all the choppers, but... Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Not quite, at least. So, it's down here. <laughs> Who cares about killing? Hey, scientist. How's it going? Objective complete. Are you Sergeant Rex Colt? Doctor Yes, said and so I'm here to kill you. I'm no hero. Possibly. I'm just your everyday U.S. military Mark IV cyber command. That's a warning shot. Alrighty. You need to clear me a path to the reactor so I can turn the power down. I uh, know, cyber soldier. Right. Then it slides out for Sloan. All right, well, since okay, that it didn't... Protect the engineer. Hmm. Okay, fine, I'll see what I can do with protecting them. Protect the engineer, sure, why not? Let's, let's do this. Although I want to buy ammo, if possible, for this giant... gun. Yes, I did! Okay, that's awesome. So you can just buy ammo for this giant uh, chain gun. Which now we're getting into corridors again. My arch nemesis. Should I be stealthy or should I just like... Oh, wrong wrong one. I thought that that was going to change my weapon, but no. Uh, that, stop pressing buttons. Uh, there we go. Come on, just... Go like this and go. Oh man, why is this... Why am I so bad? Oh well. New plan. Kill everyone. There's a ton of guys in here, but who cares? And that that's a guy with like some sort of flaming back, but oh well. Ooh. I am on fire! Fire, fire, fire! Oh no. Why does this have to happen? Also, this gun has very... a lot of recoil. That is the bad thing. So this is my objective to just, like, kill all of these guys? So, I mean, I could do that. That's always an option. But... I mean... Well, yeah, why not? Ah! Just take a little bit of time to just chain... like, just charge up my chain gun. Okay, so there's the engineer, so that I'm just supposed to be protecting him, I'm pretty sure, but whatever. It doesn't matter, he can protect himself while I do this. Alright, what do you say now? What happened to protecting the men under your command, Sloan? Only the strong could protect themselves. I learned that during the war. We didn't have what it took to win. We nuked Canada into a toxic wasteland. We did go far Yeah, I still don't know why that happened. Oh, you gonna see some shit change. I promise you that. I mean, why nuke Canada? That's that's what the thing to be wondering. I mean, I, we do definitely have weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> they're, they're hiding underneath our igloos. Um, yeah. Uh, that's not always the best idea. Oh man, I am so gonna die. Especially when I'm doing this. Don't he heal yourself in mid-combat, you're an idiot! Oh no. Takedown? 
<laughs> I'm just gonna throw grenades in here. You're gonna go down with me! Or, oh, that, that, that just works perfectly. Because there's a ton of enemies here. And if they're dumb enough to run into this corridor with me, uh, they die. Like, in the worst possible way. Uh, oh, 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 man. There you go. Well, look at you. Still alive and all. You know what, Sloan? Your Omega Force is an Omega Force. Well, T-Rex, who's the joke and who's that's, the cyber guy? That's a pretty good pun, if you can call it that, maybe. Yeah. Omega Force. How far into this do we have to go? Does that little voice in your head sound like you? Or does it sound like me? What are you talking about, Sloane? Well, maybe there's more of me in you than you got left of yourself. Or maybe you scared I didn't give you a reason to kill. I just gave you an excuse. That did it! Well, yeah, because essentially... These uh, super soldier people are ones God. of... Um, Well, they, they were, like, all designed after that Sloan guy. That's why I'm gonna buy more ammo. <laughs> ammo, refill inventory. Yeah, that's right. Then it's lights out for Sloan. You, uh, said that one already. Lights out forever. Uh, okay, we are almost there, Sergeant. All right, let's go in here, possibly. Oh, crap. Refill ammo, what, I already have all my, aw, oh, so I didn't even need to buy any. But this is gonna be the epic final scene of death and destruction for all. You need to override the shield's emergency bypass underwater. Underwater? <sighs> all right. Don't worry, I'll just I'll swim faster than cyber sharks. Uh, interact. So that's also so amazing of how fast you can actually swim, and also apparently I can like breathe underwater forever, which is another. It's another benefit of being a cyborg, even though my like, I should be like. Wait, what did that just say? What I think it just said? Oh man. <laughs> yes, let's all frolic. You did it! Yay! Now, now I just need to hack the system and expose that reactor core. Attention. And then we you shoot it, big explosion? Down. Please, I want big explosions. I'm opening the reactor shields. Uh, don't let them kill me, okay? Alright. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. And when I say don't worry, I mean... You'll have to worry a little bit because I, I'll try to not let them kill you, but they probably will either way. So I mean, I, I, I don't care if you leave or die. There you go. But also I guess it's maybe a good thing that I did put that, like, give myself more ammo because then... Basically I can just use this thing the entire time without running out. Because, you know, you know how that works. Now I can just go back in here and just go, hey, refill ammo. Whenever I feel like it. Now how long do I have to protect you? You're not even doing your job. Get to work. Um, also, like, I wonder what that bar like next to the bottom is of blueness. Come down and face me, you rusty cum buckets. That's... <laughs> that's a pretty good uh, way of saying it, yeah. Ru oh, wait, what? This guy could actually knock me down? You think you're strong? Well, I'm I'm stronger because I'm a cyborg with a chain gun. What what do you think of that, sirs? Sirs of cyborginess. Yeah. I want to pill for this guy. Oh, I got a bunch of ammo. Nice. 
So I think, oh wow, this thing's trying to board us. But that's what I say to that. Nay. Is that a grenade? Please don't be a grenade. Like a massive super grenade that's going to kill us all. That would have been bad. There we go. So I guess that like those health pack looking things are actually like health packs in here. That's a thing. Here the area of all enemies. Sure, why not? Just wait. I have to charge this up. I'm charging my lasers. Getting ready for the big prime of destruction. Oh. I think they're only going to line up for me as well. Everybody form into a very uh, orderly line, please. Oh, don't worry. I'll punch it. Uh, oh, I was just supposed to punch it anywhere. <laughs> Lol. Oh. I made it. Okay, so he kind of died. He was a good man. No, Doc. He was a real American hero. Oh, so this is actually available at the store now. Nice. Shaking hands with everyone you've ever known, including your mother. And you wouldn't want anyone touching your mother, would you? Please wash your hands. What? Rex, are you doing okay after that EMP? We don't want anybody to touch your mother. It is new, Doc. There's no challenge I can't beat. I don't know, Rex. I'm pretty unstoppable. I am somewhat disappointed, though. Doc, I am somewhat disappointed. <laughs> yes, Rex. Video because no big explosion. Mechanism, like any hobby. They've been shown to improve hand-eye coordination, problem-solving, social interaction, and self-confidence. And no studies have managed to prove a correlation between video games and violence. But frankly, anyone yeah. who thinks games are bad for you is a fucking idiot. Hey, whoa, whoa, doc. <laughs> no, Rex. Uh. Fuck stands for failing to understand our capacity for kindness. Well, <laughs> I suppose this isn't a game anymore, is it? That's amazing. And that is probably a good place to end. Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, everybody. Wow. <laughs> it has very good humor. You have to say. And I have to say. There's this crazy guns of just like destruction. Just uh, lots of chain gun action, that is. Of shooty shooty fun times. Ahoy. Not, not as many explosions as I was hoping for here, but... Exploding boats, that's always a good thing. As well as... Just... When you're actually in the open world and not actually on missions, I find that that's probably the most entertaining thing that I'll possibly be doing. Well, I'll be doing more so in the future, just... By myself. Also, the, you gotta love the names of missions. Oh, man. Other than that... I can't really say anything really bad about it now, because there is, there's a good balance. There is a good balance between linearosity, li lineosity, that's, that's a new word, of course, and uh, open world -y, just mess around, do whatever you want. And who doesn't love 80s style, just Terminator, destruction, cyborg, fun times, ahoy, still, as always. You gotta always throw the ahoy in there, because it makes you feel more official. Of course. That's that's basically my opinions of it. First impressions. The first two hours, because this has actually been like an hour of a video pretty much. Right here. Probably going to be split into two, just to make things more bearable and not going... More so of, I am going to kill myself because Glacier Kano is crazy and I cannot listen to him for a full hour. Although, I may wish to, I'm just not going to. Either way, yeah, dive into the sunset. Goodbye for now.